How does everyone else make it look so effortless? Oh dear. I just look like I have a third boob now. One, two, th yeah. Okay. I'm like, why isn't it working for me? Why me? Work for everyone else. Right. We are gonna have words later, okay? So today I am doing a new in my wardrobe designer pieces video and this kind of leads on from the hauls that I've been doing recently but first of all it's not high street it is designer and second of all it's not really a haul because I feel that it's not things I just bought all in one day and just been like let's go out and buy all this stuff no we've come into my possession over the last few weeks and basically a lot more thought has gone into them rather than just like a big haul in like a high street shop. What other reasons for the purchases? Okay, also I'm going away next weekend, which I'm really excited about. I want to put some outfits together for the trip and I want some nice new pieces. I just felt like I need a bit of a refresh. I also have sold some things on Depop, which are awesome. I sold like six bags, which is amazing. I've done like a huge clear out, so room for more. My Depop account name I'll put here. And every time I'm doing clear out, I always put the items on there. A percentage of the proceeds go to charity. So yeah, come follow. I'm really excited to show you these pieces. You guys really seem to like designer stuff. So, you know, get ready. <laughs> so I'm about to drop some really hot, hot stuff that you might just want to get your hands on. So I'm going to link all of the items in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this fashion with new in my wardrobe stuff, hauls, style diaries, then please do give this video a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss a video, you know what to do, hit that subscribe button below so I have videos Wednesdays and Sundays. All right, let's jump into it. First up, I have these beautiful Gucci Prince Town velvet slippers in hot pink which I thought was perfect for this time of year. Now, after doing my shoe collection video, which I'll link here if you haven't seen it yet, I realized that Emma, you need some flats, but you need some cool flats, like flats that you feel comfortable in, but look stylish. Because I'm either heels or I'm in trainers. It's like, there's no middle ground. <laughs> These are definitely an investment piece because these actually first came out in the autumn winter of 2016 and they've been a cult classic since. These slippers aren't going anywhere. Gucci going to be bringing them out season after season after season. So they're never going to go out of fashion. They're iconic. And when I first saw them, I was like, oh my god, they look like grandpa slippers. Who's going to wear those? It was only until I went into the shop that I was like, wow, okay, let me try those ones on. So I was in the Gucci store on Bond Street. My friend wanted to pick something up from Gucci and I went with her and then I saw these at like the corner of my eye. And I was like, oh, that hot pink. It's actually called fuchsia velvet. What I find with these is that they don't feel flat flat because they do actually have a little inbuilt stacked heel here. It's not like a ballerina pump where you've like literally nothing. And uh, this is actually made of brown lamb shirling with the recognizable Gucci horse bit here. And then this is velvet. And it's honestly like an absolute glove on your foot. It's so comfortable, so soft. It's like a snuggle for your foot. They give like a really off duty look, like that laid back kind of effortless look, but yet feminine because of the color, obviously. I went half a size up because they do actually run a little bit small to size. I get so happy when things come together and this look has come together. I just quickly grabbed a few things from my wardrobe, went through my rails, it's my emails. <laughs> Shh. I'm going to show you how I would style Prince Town Gucci velvet slippers with a look. And starting off with the bag of choice. I'm wearing my Chanel quilted leather shoulder bag in mustard yellow. I really like the vintage style, it's really cool. And it actually picks up the yellow in my kimono very nicely. So this is a kimono from Kaomo Lab, and one of my friends is the designer and co-founder. His name is Alexander Alquam, it's a London-based company. The brand is all about reinventing traditional pieces and making them more fun and experimental. 
So I love this, it feels so good on me. Um, it looks like a robe, you know, so it goes with the slippers quite well. And you know, it just gives that whole relaxed off duty vibe, but at the same time looking weak AF because this is really beautiful quality. This sells on Matches Fashion and um, a few other websites. But I'll put the link to everything in the description box below. I'm wearing my high-rise denim Topshop jeans that you might have seen in one of my hauls um, a couple days ago. I'll link it here. I'm wearing this black little camisole from Zara. Just tucked it in my jeans to give a bit of a waistline. These are from Rock and Rose. I've just layered them up. And these are from Topshop. And this is my own. This is the perfect outfit for me to go around town running errands or if I'm heading to the airport, I don't have to worry about shoelaces when I'm going through customs. I can just slip them on, slip off. And I honestly feel like I'm just literally in my dressing gown robe and my slippers. Feeling so comfortable, yet I think looking a little bit stylish, just a little. So next up is this amazing denim jacket from Alexander Wang. And I got this on Netta Porter and you know, I have a few denim jackets. They're such a versatile piece, you can wear them all the time, throughout summer, throughout winter, depending on what pieces you're layering with it. And a long denim jacket should be a staple item in your wardrobe for this summer, because you are gonna wear it again and again, and it's so easy to throw on over a nice summer dress, over a pair of t-shirt and shorts, you can dress it up. Sometimes when I go out, I'm wearing my denim jacket over a pretty black dress. A denim jacket is like my go-to piece for a festival. They're just so convenient just to throw on and keep you warm but look cool and not too hot. And this is the Alexander Wang Days denim jacket. I had my eye on it for quite some time. They bring one out actually like every season and each season was coming and going and I was like, mm, I really need this jacket, it looks so good. And whilst I've seen some high street pieces, they always have like uh, a lot of rips and tears in them and I wanted something that just looked kind of quite simple um, and so that I could have more fun like with the outfit underneath and something that was much more versatile, something that I would just be able to wear a lot more. I saw Bella Hadid was wearing it on the cover of the Porter magazine for Netta Porter and I was like wow, she looks good at that track. I need that jacket. This um, is actually small, although it looks huge. Could get another person in here. It's cut for a very loose fit, cut for an oversized fit. It just comes down really low, so it just looks like you're wearing your boyfriend's denim jacket, and it just looks so casual and cool. If I had a boyfriend, I'd have a boyfriend. <laughs> I really love how long it is because I find that long jackets make me look taller. I like the way that this like really covers you up as well. If you want to be wearing it for a festival, like a little crop top and some shorts, you could throw this on and you look much more put together and like a little bit less exposed. It's an amazing bleach denim, which I'm so into at the moment. I love that kind of really washed out, bleached look, especially like this time of year, I'm trying to move away from the blacks and the dark denims. I'm embracing the white, bright denims. I'm wearing this beautiful revolve bag. This one is called Gia. I really love the bucket shape of it. This white top from House of CB. It's like a crop top sheer and with some flower detail. Framed denim jeans that are flared and cropped. I'm wearing my Jim Vito Rossi sandals. This is most likely going to be what I wear to the airport because I can just wear my little hoodie underneath this with some jeans and I'm good to go. So the next thing is from Gucci. And I had my eye on this for such a long time. So yes, da da da, drum roll please. This is the stunning Gucci Marmont Crystal and Velvet Metal Lassie belt bag. That was a mouthful. <laughs> and I remember when I went skiing in Courchevel and I was there like filling up all my pockets with GoPro, tripod, lipstick, lip balm, all the rest. And like they were like, packed out like this. And I remember seeing my girlfriend and she looked so chic and she had like her ski jacket on and then she had like her little Gucci belt bag around her waist with all her things in. She, like, she looked so organized but yet so stylish. She was like there getting out her cards and her phone and I was like, that's such a good idea. This wasn't bought for skiing but I just, you know, I thought as I've got an upcoming trip that this will be like the perfect accessory. These are in the shape of Marquis, 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 Marquis. I should really know that because I expect a diamond that big and that shape for my engagement ring. Just put it out there. <laughs> yeah, and you're not taking this one, I'm putting it in a ring. I'll notice if it's missing. I love this chevron stitching 
with the velvet and then obviously the signature double G here. This belt bag by Gucci has actually been inspired by 90s sportswear. It looks 90s and sporty, but at the same time, very bling, which I really like. Perfect balance, I think. And they do this, by the way, in an amazing pink color too. And I was looking at the pink, I was like, eh, oh, mm, oh, mm. Because I'm always torn when I'm buying into something, okay, and when I'm investing, obviously I want it to last. I want to be able to wear it a lot. I want to style it easily. I want something that I can wear a lot, but not necessarily classic. Because when you first start building your wardrobe up, I feel with designer pieces or you know with your first couple of designer pieces, I think it's great to go classic. Like whenever I first make a purchase for a designer piece, it'd be black, you know, because it was safe, because it goes with everything. But when you've got a few more in your closet, you can be a little bit more experimental. And I feel like with where I'm at right now is that I really like to find pieces that I get a lot of wear out of but are fun, are playful, are current. I definitely think classic is a good way to go if you feel like you want to play it safe. But I never want to play it safe, ever. I don't want to play it safe. But saying that, okay, I felt that you, you're going to see why I didn't get the pink colour in this. So that's all I'm going to say right now, but just hold on. I like the way you wear this like high up on the waist, so it, like, it cinches you in, it can make your clothes look flattering, and most importantly, fits my iPhone 8 in. Love this bag, and I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. You're going to see this a lot on my Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, where have you been? Have you been hiding under a rock or something? Come follow. Come say hello. I love reading and replying, and you know what? I might even follow you back. I styled it with this Elliott blazer in blush pink. Um, I actually wore this blazer in another one of my hauls. I think it's such a versatile piece, perfect for this time of year. Love this millennial pink. of the sleeves as well, split sleeves. And I just thought it's really great to wear like a blazer or a long coat with this kind of belt bag because you can wear it over and use it as a belt. Yeah, I quite like the contrast of the black with the pink. I think that, that works well. And you definitely see myself wearing this to going to work, going to a meeting. This bag completes the look. It really finishes it off so well. And it's iconic, it's a real statement, it's got attitude, and I think it's a great addition and accessory to this look. The boots are from Public Desire, and they are a pointy boot, nude and black. I think they complement this outfit really well because they bring in the black, but in a subtle way, so it doesn't look too matchy-matchy with the bag. What's really cool about this bag as well is that you can wear it two ways. This is my first time trying it out like this, but oh dear. I just look like I have a third boob now. One, two, th yeah. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I think the idea of it is you're not meant to be too fussy about how much it projects you know, and, and how bad it looks from that angle. Do you want to prefer it with a green Topshop coat? I think this long green duster coat from Topshop gives it more of a relaxed, off duty look, despite the bling going on here. So I think they balance each other out quite well. Da -da -da. Next, we have something from Tom Ford. I'm, I'm so excited to show you these, oh my God. How amazing are these? I mean, come on. You think I was gonna walk out of the shop without these? Hell no! These were like literally there, like flirting with me, like giving me the eye. And I was like, I'm not giving in. I'm gonna be strong. I'm gonna be strong. I'm gonna be strong. <laughs> but they're looking at me. I was looking at them and then I caved. Okay, I'll try them on in a size 38 and a half, please. <laughs> oh my God video a couple weeks ago and I was like oh I really wish I had some clear plastic shoes to go with this look and I just felt like clear plastic you know would be something fun and fresh also I've seen like the clear plastic Yeezy boot this is totally different and they are so stunning can you see that I'm really into pink you're gonna see a lot more pink just warning you okay pink is the color for spring summer 18 and I am loving it these Tom Ford stilettos are actually disco inspired this is clear PVC, and then they have these beautiful crystals. 
from Swarovski covering the entire PVC and so when you put them onto your foot you don't see the PVC you just see the crystals and it just looks like the crystals are floating over your foot I just say they look stunning on this deep plunge I think really elongates your leg and makes you look like you've got really long legs and they're just like the ultimate shoe in my wardrobe right now. Like there is nothing that tops this shoe right now. Um, they have this really cool metal spike heel, which is like, yeah, I'm pretty and I love disco, but you know what? Don't mess with me. <laughs> Whilst they look very disco, these honestly look so good with a pair of jeans. Cheat, like something really casual, like a blouse and some jeans with these. And I live in jeans, so <laughs> I'm gonna wear these, honestly, day and night. Just try and stop me. <laughs> For this look, I really wanted to wear jeans because I wanted to show how you can wear really fancy shoes that perhaps look like they're only reserved for like cocktail parties or evenings out to actually being day wear. And I think they really step up a whole literally, pun intended, they step up, oh, look, you know, I've gone super simple, oversized white shirt, by the way, I live in this shirt, it's my favorite, Anthony Vaccarello, a contrast colored bra, black, and then my frame denim jeans that are cropped but with a flare, my crocodile print Givenchy clutch, the clutch gives it more of a laid back look, this is definitely something I would wear to a meeting, going to a work event, I feel I'm looking smart, but at the same time, still stylish. I like to not look too conservative as my outfit still represents me. I really admire like style that looks effortless, cool, but playful and fun. And that's why I like to have an injection of color in this look. It's white, denim and navy, and then you have this pop of pink. <laughs> I just think it really like injects that color, that fun back into the look. And glam, not to mention glam back into the look. So are you ready to see inside? Dun -da -da -da. Surprise, surprise, it's pink! How amazing is this? Nope, that's not amazing. Call my earring. Here we go. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. I would say like this is like an oversized wallet. It's quite thin and it's not huge. I'll take it off my neck now. So this is the Gucci Marmont mini quilted leather shoulder bag. And a little interesting fact actually, the independent list and Business of Fashion did this major search and they looked at engagement and conversion rates of 12,000 labels and Gucci took the title as the hottest brand in the world. That's right. And I think you can understand why. <laughs> this is really beautifully quilted. We've got the chevron stitching pattern. We've got the double G here with this amazing, you have this really cool chain here. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag or as a clutch, if you just have it like that, leave the chain hanging. And I really like the compartment inside because you can put like things in here to protect, but you can also put your card straight into there. I hate taking a wallet and a, then putting the wallet into the bag because it never fits. Whereas here I can keep my cards safe and secure by just slotting them in. I can wear this day or night, wear this with a pair of jeans, or I could wear this with a dress. So much flexibility. I definitely see this as an investment piece. It's fun, it's playful, it's feminine, and I know I'll get a lot of wear out of this one. Fits, most importantly, my Sony RX100 Mark V, my amazing new Marc Jacobs contour palette, check, and my phone. Little bit of lippy from Charlotte Tilbury. Too bad I'm bad. They knew me. I need a credit card. Ah! Oh no, do you know what? I'll make Arena pay. <laughs> Boom! Ready to take on the world. It's also magnetic here, which just makes it really easy to close. There's nothing worse than when you're trying to close your bag, especially me, because I pack so much in it. Mm, this is just, this closes so easily. Love that. There isn't going to be many purchases of designer stuff for a while now, but just thought I'd get it all out of the way. <laughs> Next up is actually not a designer piece. It's more of a mid-range piece, but it looks designer. <laughs> so that's why I've included it. And I think you will agree with me. You would never guess this skirt is from Marge. It really looks like Balenciaga or Alexander Wang. I was like, I have to get this when I saw it. This is so cool. It's got like an asymmetric zip going across here. It has this really nice chunky belt with like white, contrast top stitching here 
a little another zip here, a little flat pocket here. This one is a size 36 and also look at the inside. It's got an amazing fuchsia pink velvet, just like my slippers. It's made from 100% lamb leather, so it's super soft. It's high-waisted, so it really cinches you in at the waist, very flattering with the A-line kind of shape. The A-line gives it that feminine kind of touch to what otherwise is kind of like a cool, badass look. Probably wear this like a little blouse, a t-shirt, maybe even like a little sweater. Really versatile piece. This skirt was 325 pounds and pretty sure if it was like anything else, like Balenciaga or Alexander Wang, you'd be looking at more than double that. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. So I'm wearing this Thayskin Theory white knit with holes in it. A little bit transparent, but I don't mind that. Um, I'm wearing a contrasting color bra, so it picks up the black in the skirt, and I thought I'd team it with my new mini quilted Marmont Gucci bag in pink. I feel like monochrome is really nice, but sometimes you need a bit of color. So I thought bringing the pink in would be really good with this look. This look would be perfect from day to night. Like literally you could actually wear this to the office, or wear this to your meetings and then go out at night and have a dance, you know? I do think it's missing one thing. A new jacket. This one is by Thayskin's Theory. It's oversized and I think it would be great to wear just over the outfit, just to complete the look. Make it look a little bit more polished. I would definitely wear this to a work event, a meeting, a PR brand meeting, or if I'm heading to uh, beauty or fashion events, um, or if I'm heading out you know, in the evening for a drink, a cocktail maybe. I love this look and if you like it, let me know. And last but by no means least, we have this incredible bodysuit by Christine Dior. Now, little story behind this one. This actually was kindly gifted to me by none other than my friend Irina. It was so kind of her. This also was actually on my lust list on Pinterest and I had my eye on it for so long. So when my friend got it, I was like, oh my God, you got that bodysuit. And then she was wearing it and then she was like, you know, if you want it, you can have it. So, ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling very lucky. I saw this on the runway, the ready to wear spring, summer, 18 runway for Dior and I love the kind of bohemian grunge look they went for which was totally different to any other season before. Usually they do very tailored cut suits and like floral ethereal kind of dresses um, and this was totally different and I was like wow this is amazing. They nailed it and this it was one of the pieces that I saw on the runway and I saw it with a beautiful tulle, tulle dress. As you know, I love bodysuits. I find them so cool to just like, like right now I'm wearing a bodysuit, slip on some high-waisted jeans and I'm like, good, you know? And it makes me feel good as well. This bodysuit is retro-inspired, so fitted, it's ultra-feminine and makes a real statement. And I just think it is me. <laughs> I love it. I love the color, I love how bold it is, it's rebellious. Stripes are really in at the moment. Stripes are everywhere. My favorite detail about this is definitely these straps that have the Christine Dior. J'adore Christine Dior. They're just iconic. I think the crossover at the back is really cool. I really like that. I love the plunge here and the red and black stripes that really make a statement. They bring attitude to the look. It feels great, it's really slim fit hugs me in all the right places, but I would definitely need a jacket with this to feel totally comfortable with going around town. This is the perfect little jacket to throw on over this look because it's really light. It's from Philip Lim. This is 100% silk material. It goes up at the back and down at the front. And it's, you can just like roll up the sleeves. And this would definitely be an outfit I would wear going to the office for meetings, throughout the day and it's something again a look that will take you from day to night you could wear some trainers with this look if you want to be more daytime or if you wanted to wear the same look going out at night just put a pair of heels on and i also think we need a bag oh wow my louis vuitton petite mal inside ah oh, no cash um but i think it really complements this look i'm wearing jeans by frame they're high rise and they are stressed, and they are full length, not cropped. And these are at size 25. I think these denim jeans really complement 
the bodysuit and give it a much more off-duty look. The shoes are from Aquazura. This is the way they kind of styled the bodysuit in the runway. I found this dress from Glamorous in my wardrobe and I thought I'd throw it on and see what it looks like. They actually cover like all around, like, it's not like a thong. <laughs> so you're kind of covered, but you can play this up so much and I just think it's such a beautiful piece. Are you ready for this? Okay. Oh yes! I picked up this yesterday and I can't wait to show you what's inside. I don't want to tease you too much guys, but I think I think I'm gonna to have to do this in another video and like dedicate a whole video to it of unboxing because this is very, very special. I wanna take my time with it. So do watch out for that. It will be coming up very soon. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Did you prefer seeing more designer stuff as opposed to high street? Which one do you prefer? Do you like a bit of a mix? I'd love to hear your thoughts as I'm doing a lot more fashion now on this channel and your feedback really helps me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bring you back up. <laughs> we do our own sound effects here. Like I just think I've never I third did it, they did. Can't get my words out because the doors on the floor. I'm trying to pick it back up. I do this so that it can recognise my face. I'm not taking a pee here. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Try again. I love this bag and I think it loves me too. Do you love me? I think you do too, yes. Oh my god, I'm getting weird. They say blue and green should never be seen. I'm here to break the fashion rules, okay? The people, oh my God, it's so annoying. Police are after me. What do I do this time? After this, it's gonna be back to eating beans on toast. <sighs> Part of the reason for these purchases was the fact that the other day, I noticed a gray hair here and one here. Yeah, that's right. And you know what I just thought? YOLO, you only live once. What am I gonna do, take the money to the grave? No, take it to Gucci. <laughs>